Stayallday.com. Public service announcement. Usually when I post videos of myself in games of one on one, there's always gonna be a couple bum ass players who wanna tell me how they better than the guy I was playing against or you should do this and that. Listen. This is YouTube, the world's largest video site. So if you good enough to tell me how to play or you better than the person I'm playing against, don't tell me. Don't write it down in the comment. Show me. Post some videos on your channel. Get some recognition for your game. And we'll meet if we need to meet if it's meant to be. Otherwise, shut the fuck up and learn something. Dre all day. Two parts of what get me the open shot here is a crossover and then a little step back dribble I do after it. So I'll go through the legs to the left, back to the right, to the left. Dragging that back foot, crossover, create some space, then the step back as I go through the legs to the left, and then I got my shot. I just got to hit it off the glass. That's all there is to it. When I'm creating space off that crossover, I could have took the shot right there about the 12 foot range if I wanted to take that, but I wanted some extra space knowing I got a bigger guy on me who's going to reach out and challenge that shot. And this is all instinctive. I mean, the more you practice it, the better you'll be able to pull this stuff off without having to think about it. People ask about the combination dribbles to do against defenders. Here it is. In and out dribble, through the legs, behind the back, raising straight up for the shot. Notice I'm getting my feet set quickly. My feet are getting set while I'm still dribbling the ball. So by the time that ball comes back up to my hands, I'm already ready to shoot. My feet are already up in the air. They kind of meet in the middle. It's kind of a little bit of a hop that I take. Feet meet in the middle, shots off, bucket. This combination I'm going to use here is going to end with the behind the back raising up into the jump shot. It's just an instinctive combo if you work on it enough. Cross over here, through the legs, through the legs again, so the scissor there, if you want to call it that, quick behind the back and I'm raising up for the shot. See how my defender is backing up just a little bit when I use that behind the back dribble. So by the time I raise up for that shot, he has to recover moving towards me, but it's not enough time. By the time he recovers and moves towards me, I've already gotten that shot up and out of my hands. I'm already at the top of my jump. I'm releasing it and it's too late. Same thing here with this combination. Notice how he kind of moves back just a little bit when I use the combination. That's all the space that I need here. So it's a quick in and out dribble through the legs. See how he moves back with that left foot? By the time he recovers the challenge, he gets a good challenge and he's tall. He got long arms, but it's too late. I'm up at the top of my jump. I'm getting that shot off. It's not getting blocked. The only thing that's left is for me to make the shot. So after you create the space with a move, you still got to finish the playoff by making the shot. So I create some space. In and out through the legs, pull up, jump. And this is the hesitation pull up move that I like to use. I call it my signature hesitation, but a lot of players use it, of course. So I step in. You see how I take that big step with the left foot? He has to respect that because he knows I can beat him driving to the basket with my left. So when I take that big step with the left, he has to back up onto his heels and take it or take a step back to respect my driving ability. I pull up, open shot, I just gotta make it. You're creating a space off the bounce once you establish that you can beat a guy off the bounce. You can get all the open shots you want off the dribble. You just gotta make them. You see, I create some space with that cross, then a scissor cross here where I'm kind of hopping. I take one little extra rhythm dribble there. You see how he's kind of frozen in space. By the time I raise up for the shot, you see how I'm already up in the air before he even puts his hands up. It's too late. It doesn't mean it's a guaranteed bucket because the most important part is I still got to hit the shot. So after you do all this creating of the space, you still got to be able to finish the play that you start. So I start here, cross there, scissor cross, rhythm dribble, pull up. You still got to make it. Once I establish that I can blow by his defender, when he's up at the three-point line, I know I can blow by him. He knows it. So once I start going, he has to respect that and defend the paint. Quick snatch back move behind the back. Notice how I hop my feet up off the ground and get them set quick. Only thing that's left is that I have to make the open shot. So I, once I establish that I can beat him off that bounce, once I start to go, he has to recover to the paint to protect me from getting all the way to the rim. You're better off giving up jumper than a layup. But if you can make the jumper, it's still a weapon. A lot of drills I talk about changing pace, finding different speeds, changing speeds, and switching things up on defenders so they can't start to time you. Here you see I've done a lot of quick, slow kind of movements into my shots here. I just pull up for a quick jumper before he even has a chance to react. Instead of kind of hopping or stepping or sliding slowly into a shot or even doing a move into a shot, I catch him sleeping look at his feet. You see how he's standing flat-footed just as I am, but he doesn't know I can get my shot off from this position and make him pet. That's all right. He's the finest guy. Work on your game.